And right now it's time for this. From the makers of The Earth is Flat and I'm Only Having One Beer comes... I call BS. All right, well, this is what we do here. When the other team kicks off, I catch the ball. I give it to the biggest runner on the field. He's come off the back fence. I call BS. Here he is, Paul Kent. Oh, it's me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were about Gordy. <laughs> Look, Anthony, I'll call BS on the, uh, the NRL integrity unit and their lack of what I believe is proper investigation in all these COVID cases. You, we, we're hearing people... Uh, yeah, obviously Wayne Better came out during the week and he said, look, uh, he was asked whether he, uh, he'd done this before and Wayne, not knowing what people out there might know and what might have seen, said, oh, maybe one or two times. Then it comes out in the paper today that he was involved in a, uh, obviously not just Grappa during the week, but he was also at another restaurant a couple of weeks ago. Now, if, if that's the truth, and I've got no reason to believe it's not, then why, why did not Wayne Bennett offer that? when the integrity unit spoke to him because part of the reason that the players and, and Wayne was put into the 14-day bubble and, and it was okay for Wayne to coach the, the, the Rabbitohs on Thursday morning was, was considered that if he was in the restaurant on Wednesday, then he wasn't, uh, hadn't been long enough for, the be, for him to be at an infectious stage when he coached the players on Thursday. But what if, yeah, and this is according to Buzz who broke the story, but but what if, what if he was actually at another restaurant two weeks ago mm. on the slide? What if he's been to Grappa, I dare suggest, more than once during COVID? It sounds like but, you know what you're talking about, Paul. It's, you know, I, I, I call I bullshit with you, too, because do you know what? I don't reckon he's cooked a meal in his life, Wayne. I reckon he eats out every night. <laughs> well, but the fact is, the fact is there's no proper investigation there. Yeah. They're, they've been happy to try and sweep it aside. And... And a lot of people out there go, oh, come on, big deal. He's gone for a meal or whatever. The fact is it, it, you need one player to go down to put the game in jeopardy. If half a dozen or so go down, there's every chance if a player's infected and doesn't know it and he, he gets because he's been to a cafe or his coach has been to a cafe and he then goes back to train and infects the team, that, that has, we've seen how quickly this can spread. Mm. Peter Valenius was on Triple M yesterday saying that one person – who attended one of the restaurants here in Sydney, one person was responsible for 400 people being infected. Wow. Another yeah. person, another one person was responsible for 100 people being infected. That's that's how infectious this disease is. So to sit there and just softly push this off to the side, oh, he's had a 14-day quarantine, and when it appears at least that he's not telling the complete truth, that he was evasive and vague deliberately in his answers because he didn't know what those interrogating him or those listening to it might know. Nathan Cleary got penalised twice because he didn't reveal the full details of what he'd done. And everybody kicked him in the backside. Absolutely. And Wayne, Wayne Bennett has had much more life experience than Nathan Cleary and should be far more accountable. Do you know, uh, Nathan Cleary's a young guy. I think Bradman Best broke the bubble. Um, Vaughan, he did the big... Like, I think Bradman best you go, listen, mate, you're young. I think he went to see his mother. Up, yep. Like, yeah, man, that's but when Wayne Bennett, when he preaches, right, when anybody else, he stands there, he should know better. It's just, don't, do, like. Are you calling BS on this too? Or are yeah, you absolutely. Yeah, no, that, well, what made the thing what shits me with it is then he comes up with bullshit well, it, it, about eating a kebab. Who eats a kebab before 1 a.m. in the morning? Just remember where <laughs> no, I'm Who eats a kebab, who eats a kebab before Buzz, 1 a.m. with 12 scooters? <laughs> <without 12 scoon? laughs> Buzz wrote today Buzz wrote today that he was spotted at La Spagia restaurant in Coogee a fortnight ago. Oh, my friend owns that. Well, look, we'll just get him on the line. Morris. Then. Morris. He lives in my street. Okay, but that's he was spotted there a fortnight ago. Right. There's every, you know, uh, look, there's every likelihood that he, that he has been the grapper during this before other but times. it's a famous footy it, hangout, isn't oh, it, the grapper? It is. It it is Gordy, very I, 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 I spoke to somebody who was there, not Braith and Nasta. Okay, so well, we need to clear that up because well, Braith's been Braith. unfairly fingered well, for this. Braith knew wrong. he was going to. Braith knew as soon as it broke that he was going to be the one identified because he was the recognisable face. But the truth is, there was other people there. Someone who was not, well, obviously was not Braith told me, and there was a third person that sat at the table. Now yeah. I, I can't mm. say whether they were well, there with for the Wayne and Dale. With Wayne and Dale. And they weren't there for the entire lunch. They might have just sat down and have a chat because, but they were certain because the person who told me di didn't watch the entire lunch. Okay. But certainly said there was a period there where a third person sat at the table. Wayne said in his interview that they were isolated in a private room. That's a lie. 
They were in. They were in the the public area like everybody else. Mm. I went to Grappa Friday night. There's I took no my wife private there. room. I, there. I didn't see a private There's room. Not. I've been going there for years. It's a great spot. And so where's run the integrity by Charlie unit? and Steve, two of the great characters mm. uh, of the inner west. And you're right, Paul. It's a it's a fair point. I can't understand how. You can say there's a private room when oh, I couldn't see any private room there. Mm. Well, you were you. Who what do you think you, you are, Columbo? Hey, do you think you're Columbo? Well, well, you no, I just took my wife for dinner. If <laughs> right. That's right with you. Hey, hold on. During the week, Nathan Buckley, the Collingwood coach, broke. Who, who again is a senior figure in in the AFL, like Wayne Bennett, is in NRL. Nathan Buckley went and had a game of tennis with Alicia Mollick and was the club, not Buckley personally, but the club was fined $50,000 for it. Now, given Wayne Bennett is on Project Apollo, who's mm-hmm. geared with implementing the rules, who is part of the, the committee that goes and, and has appointed a COVID expert at every club at the NRL's cost, where there's someone there, and if you talk to other coaches around the game, they say, if you have any issues, you just make a quick phone call, mate, am I allowed to do this? No, you can't. Okay, I won't do it. Can I do this? Yes, I can. That, that, like, the whole thing's just a cover-up. It really is. And, and it's such weak handling. I, 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 like, just, the game was going all right for a bit there, but I'll tell you what, there's a couple of little things lately, you just yeah. start to think, hang yeah. on. Mm. What's weak, what, what, what do you mean, what's weak handling? What's weak handling? Hang on, the fact- sorry, I can't listen to both of you at once, and I don't think the listeners can either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> what's weak? You said it's weak. Such well, weak I think, the, I think the, the, the level of investigation and punishment is weak. I, I, I think it was, look, this is embarrassing to the game. It, it's highly embarrassing to the game that one of the men on the, the Project Apollo is actually out there breaking... The, the, the laws rules. himself, the rules himself. That that that, mm-hmm. and, and the fact that Bennett was evasive and vague in his interview, that the that he wasn't properly investigated or it hasn't at least been uh, properly articulated since and b- become transparent about what he's actually done. Like if he's been at a Coogee restaurant two weeks ago, that might have been the once or twice before he's done it. Now, if that's the case, he would be now in the infectious stage. There's every chance that South Sydney could have been infected. Those players, when they played on Thursday night. Mm. All right. Well, look. Uh, Just lock him up in a nursing home. We'll let, we'll, hoops, we'll let, get your one. We're going to have to cut this in two today because we've got to go to. So let's have your I call BS before we take a break. Hoops, it's over to you. Well, Anthony, often we like to have a bit of fun with you. The Redfern Rocket, right. the Waterloo White Ant, a bit of banter. The King of Cash, Cha-Ching, <laughs> is one of the great ones. Glad you're a popular player. I know. Uh, all these but nicknames. But yesterday I was listening to the Saturday Triple M Saturday Scrum, I believe they call it. Yep. And, you know, I'm big on if people are getting stuck into your mates, well, you've got to stand up for your mates. Yeah, right. Well, I, let's I'm, just yeah. take a little listen to this audio. Maroon we just... brought a, a, a terrible segment last week. What was it? It was the trivia. trivia. Oh. Maroon's trivia. And then we didn't even end up doing it because no. you used your buzzer incorrectly and you said yeah. Gary Girdler, so we yeah. just we stopped it. Yeah, altogether. I have to use my correct name, Tony, otherwise it's just not accepted. Really? Yeah, under Maroon's watch. Okay. Well, that's Girdler. why we love flog, you so eh? much Maroon. better, Tony. No wonder he's on Sundays. Anything goes here. <laughs> Mm. Now, so they wanted to put the slipper into you. Yeah. Now, I've got all the time and respect in the world for the Saturday Scrum people. Very good folk. But mm. don't go putting a slipper into the Redfern Rocket, yeah, exactly. the King of Cash. Yeah. There's only one King of Cash. That segment has won awards yes. all over the world. Yeah. Maroon's yeah, right. Trivia Quiz. 100%. Yeah, that's right. They try and, and bring what about, down What about Gerd saying, now I know when it's on Sunday. Like, yeah. didn't we sack him from the show? Did. yeah, yeah. Mate. We, we told him we had to go to Sad Day because we couldn't carry him any longer. Yeah, exactly. Gerds, if you're listening, you're <laughs> midweek at Kembla Grange. 